Hey everyone, welcome back to the sunny side. I'm Sunny, and these are the horoscopes right here, right now, for the week of July 16th to July 20th, 2018. Do 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 do. Tight. Get by with a little help from our friends. That's all I'm trying to say here. <laughs> all right, for those who don't know, I'm a professional astrologer, and I do write the horoscopes for some of the newspapers in Canada. And if you want a professional reading, just check it out in the description box below. In addition to that, there's a big tarot workshop that's coming up on July 21st. And if you want to take part in that, just check out the description box below. <laughs> in addition to all of that, I do shoot these horoscopes live right here on the channel on the Breakfast with Sunny show in the morning. So if you want to take part with that, by all means, drop by. And so it also means I might get a little distracted here on the channel as we go along as the Sunny Siders are checking out our action and seeing what's going on. Oh, they're asking questions. And that's what's going on. All right, straight up. So let's do it. For those who, and by all means, you can, um, by all means, you can feel free to fast forward on the channel. Fast forward, because it's a video. All right, here we go. Do, 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 do. Let's put Aries on the Ascendant. Let's back this up. Uh, 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 uh. Remember, guys, it's always a beautiful day to be beautiful, and it's together that makes it a beautiful day. It's always a beautiful day to be beautiful, and together makes it a beautiful day. All right, here we go. So what's going on in the sky this week? We Okay, so first up, this is not a real red triangle. Do you see that? Chiron is making an aspect Chiron is the wounded healer wherever whenever Chiron is uh, aspected in your chart you're gonna feel like angst not angst you're gonna feel like upset about something hey MBA what's up I hope you're having a super amazing day and then uh, but it's you know this is not a real red triangle because watch I'll just he's gone <laughs> it's, just, it's gone so I wouldn't worry about that this and this isn't a real opposition because these nodes are always there. So this red line's not real, and that big red triangle's not real. Chiron's kind of all by itself at two degrees. So I wouldn't expect, oh, no, it's not. Uranus is here. So you can have feelings get upset suddenly and out of the blue. So let's look and see where the major energy of the week is. We had a new moon right, a couple of days ago, or I guess as I'm shooting the video we're going through the new moon right now but that's not that big of a deal as the moon moves through Libra as the moon moves through Libra it's gonna square the Sun and whenever the moon squares the Sun people are gonna feel like their emotional needs aren't being met they're gonna be like why are you doing that I told you I want this why are you doing that you do you don't love me and that's what's gonna happen not you know so be prepared for that for the second half of the week at the first half of the week it should be pretty cool Anything making an impact here? Anything seriously? I wonder what it, we'll see what I wrote about in a second, but just the, off the top of my head, well, we're looking at the chart here. It doesn't look, it doesn't look like a major thing. Pluto is going to make an aspect to the moon, but at the same, so we could expect endings at the beginning of the week. Uh, you know, you could expect endings at the beginning of the week, but I wouldn't expect it to be forever. It's going to move forward soon just like the other stuff it's going to move forward and then it's going to be over it's going to pass mars is getting pretty close to the nodes when mars makes when mars crosses the nodes as it's crossing everybody's getting uh, going through a sense of destiny so to speak right now and uh, as they go through this sense of destiny it's a feeling like you're supposed to do something there's a very strong uh, should kind of element and things you've been waiting for like if you've been waiting for a letter in the mail it's gonna arrive this week if you've been waiting for a, a phone call about a job it's gonna arrive this week if you like some girl and you're like oh she told me she's gonna have to make her mind up Sonny you're gonna find out about that this week this is a week to get things going on there is a caveat in this whole kind of thing you know where you got to watch some action out I mean Let's see what's going on here. Do 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 do. No, I think we cool. 
You just gotta, just gotta be cool. Oh, let's get back to the to the right date. So, so this is the as far as I'm concerned, this is the major thing that's happening this week, and it's a situation where Mars is returning. So there's stuff that's gonna happen to everybody, like. In the last little while, so like two months ago, okay, there's there's a couple of things that's been happening. We've had uh, in Mar April, March, and April and May, everybody's been going through a fight, depending on where it's been in your chart. And there's been quite a bit of a struggle that's that's happening. And you're like, oh, how did I screw this up? Or like, what kind of nonsense is this action playing on me? And how did I or like? But we all know like we do it to ourselves at times, right? Like not always, but like most of the time. You know, and once again, you always got to roll with the punches, even if you're rolling yourself, you know, punching yourself. So, but that's the major vibe that's been happening. And then we all felt like opportunity passed us by and we're like, crap, you know, I should have done that. Wherever it is, like say you wanted to get a new apartment and you didn't do it. You didn't pull the trigger or you went through a situation where you, you didn't um, buy that car or you didn't do that thing or you didn't go bungee jumping or you didn't say hello to the girl or you didn't take the job or you didn't sign up for the course or there's something that you wanted to do in your life that you felt was like a life thing that you should have done it's a node it's not like it's like it's the dragon's tails it's not like so anyways it's a thing you feel like you should you should do with some time in life and or you know what i was supposed to be with that person and i screwed it up and so they're all coming back and it's been happening for the last couple of weeks and not like long month weeks like last two weeks people have been coming back things have been coming back opportunities have been returning and it's quite exciting now this week you're gonna get in it's gonna it's you're gonna many people are going to seize this opportunity whatever it is and you know there are examples like um, the big the the um ontario freemasons we have our big um convention this this week you know monday tuesday wednesday and so we're going to elect our grand lodge officers this week and for some people that's a major uh sense of destiny that's going to happen to some people it's going to change their lives they're going to seize the day in a major way like stuff they've been marsing working towards are going to finally come true and if you know whoever is fortunate enough to get uh, elected it's going to change their lives it's this is a big deal this week and so this is going on for many people wherever it is in your life you may have noticed some kind of opportunity for advancement in your career and you're like wow i didn't expect that oh my god it's kind of like being in the right place at the right time you suddenly meet someone or you see an opportunity to buy something or to be part of something that doesn't come along all that often but when it does it has the opportunity it has the potential to change your life and it doesn't have to be dramatic and profound like oh my god i just got ex accepted into the most amazing school in the world not like that you could be like you know i really you know like we had a tempe do the show we had a templeton do the show and Templeton makes a huge difference to the show. Right, Tempe? <laughs> he doesn't say a lot. <laughs> and so, you know, it could be subtle. People from the past, once again. You know, opportunities are going to return. Now, that's what's going to happen. But there's a warning to all of this. Mercury is going to go retrograde soon. And, so two warnings. One, emotional needs aren't going to be met this week. So another round of violence, please. <laughs> and so another thing. When Mars cross this, people feel justified. Once again, there's the word should comes into play. So people are going to be like, I should do this. I should do... Okay, well, that's obviously what it means. But like, so if someone thinks that they should kick somebody's ass, that's what's going to happen. You know, and so just keep a close eye on people with the whole should game that's happening. In addition to that, I said it a little bit a couple of days ago, and I'll say it again. Jupiter is now direct. So this means th things are going to get bigger. So if someone is yelling and screaming, th they're going to yell and scream louder. If there isn't someone is under some kind of emotional duress, they're going to emote 
more. And it's in Scorpio. So expect a lot of yelling and scream. If it becomes demonstrative, it's going to be significantly louder. And that's just what's going to happen. If you look in the... And we do this all the time. You know, you can see this happening all around you. Scorpios, people who are Scorpios are going to be more... Uh, vocal Scorpio energy is going to be more vocal more ver you know they're going to say things whether for right or wrong this has nothing to do with being right or wrong it has to do with being justified and just be careful because uh, if you know just be careful because if you say something like stupid it's going to be loud everything is getting Jupitered which means it's getting amplified so Mars energy is in play people are going to be aggressive confrontational competitive and a big uh, should is going to apply to things you're going to seize many people are going to seize the day which is a great thing you should always seize the day things are going to happen big and that's the deal and emotional needs aren't going to be met in addition to all of that everybody should watch the vibe that's happening out there because mercury is about to go retrograde now we'll talk about this more on the hump day horoscopes next week but when um, Mercury goes retrograde, then you're going to revisit all of this kind of stuff. And what's happening is, this is your action up here. Okay, This is totally the action up here. And way down here, it's kind of like the results of your action. So right now, we're all seizing the day. Everything is cool, we're seizing the day. And, but, you know, our actions have consequences. And for better or worse and or our you know our we have effects a cause is going to have an effect and down here is the effect or the consequence and we're going to revisit that intellectually and we're going to talk about it so once again it's like this say you have an opportunity to date somebody let's say this is in the dating sector of of uh leo right leo get married or libra to date somebody so you're going to tie the knot. Like Leos are going to like give someone a second chance in relationships. And Libras, you know, they're going to give, both Leos and Libras are going to give someone a second chance. Or they're going to get out there and they're going to put a lot of energy into this relationship that they feel they should be getting involved in. However, in this situation here, so at this, when Mercury goes retrograde, you're going to uh, think about it. You're going to be like, you're going to be like, um, I don't know, man. Did it, like, is this the deal? Like, uh, is this what it's what I got myself into? <laughs> is this is this what's going on? And that's the um, that's what's going on. That's the vibe, and that's what's going on with the the, rec the retrograde thing. All right, next. Do 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 do. Let's do our Aries and let's get on. Let's get back with the getting on. All right, here we go. Dear Aries, everybody cool? Do -do 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 -do. Oh, thanks, Sonia. That's really sweet. Here we go. Dear Aries, everybody cool? Aries is up. Dear Aries, destiny calls out for another chance. Oh, Steph, that's what we're talking about right here. Destiny is calling out for another chance. What are you surprised about, Sonia? You wrote the horoscope. I know. I got like <laughs> Okay. Dear Aries, destiny calls out for another chance. But second thoughts have you reaching for another's hand. Aries, what the hell? <laughs> Aries, what are you doing? <laughs> this Second thoughts, right? That's Mercury coming down here. Remember what I was talking about? Second thoughts. Destiny calls out for another chance. But second thoughts have you reaching for another's hand. Friends return for an adventure. But suddenly balk when you take the lead. Oh, yeah, friends are going to return for an adventure, area, Aries, but you take the lead and go freak out. Okay, on the plus... Oh, that's Taurus. Okay, stay close to home and avoid drama. Sonny, I'm an Aries, and drama is my middle name. My name is Air Drama Rees. <laughs> is your name really Air Drama Rees? <laughs> okay, <laughs> so, dear Aries, destiny calls out for another chance, but second thoughts have you reaching for another's hand. Friends return for an adventure, but suddenly balk when you take the lead. Stay close to home and avoid drama. Do you guys see that? So Aries, this is friends returning. And you're going to be like, tsh, tsh, tsh. you know, you're going to be like, 
they're going to be like, hey, Aries, let's get on. What's going on? And you're going to be like, yeah, everything is cool. And then you're going to do your Aries thing, and they're going to be like, oh, wait a second. Uh, that's because something's happening here. Just because people and events and all these things that, these things that I'm talking about return doesn't doesn't necessarily mean doesn't necessarily mean that they're going to be great or amazing or in any way that you want them to be it's probably going to be more of the same for everybody and that's going to be true for aries as well now once down here the spotlight's on home so like just stay home aries and chill it out you know invite everybody over don't worry about nonsense and just be cool with the getting on now, once again, love is in the air, Aries. Love is in the air. But, you know, you're going to second guess your choices. And that's what's going on for Aries. On the plus side, with Venus cruising through Virgo for Aries, Aries is going to get to the gym. Aries is going to work out. Aries is going to do some good habits. and It's all going to be cool with Aries. Aries might get a, get a puppy. <laughs> you know, they might. It's your astral sector of pets. So you might be thinking about children. And you might actually go out and get a puppy or something, which is pretty cool. <laughs> I think that's pretty cool. Nobody gets puppies in the summer, Sunny. Everybody gets puppies at Christmas. Well, I don't know, man. I have a turtle. <laughs> All right, here we go. There we go. Do 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 do. Wow, Betty's a double Virgo. That's serious. Okay, next, dear Taurus. You'd love to get to the gym. Taurus. Dear Taurus. Oh, the moon is here. Okay, the moon is in Libra. So this is going to happen here. Dear Taurus, you'd love to get to the gym and sweat off some bad habits. But transportation woes keep you close to home. Problems. <laughs> All right. Okay. On the plus side, home is exactly where love is looking to bless your day. Open the windows and let love shine in. Seriously, Sonny? All right. Well, something is going to return publicly for Taurus right here. We had Taurus had a new beginning in their career and in their public life at the beginning of the year. Like it, this year started off with Taurus making strides publicly. Maybe new jobs. Maybe new paint on their house. Like that's not really what happened. But like many Tauruses started the year with new jobs, new relationships knew something was happening that's public and everyone can see and then maybe things went sideways maybe stuff happened maybe it got good maybe it got bad but and then it went a little sideways and now Taurus is trying it all over again maybe Taurus was in a joined a social group or they tried to do something on their own at the beginning of the year and they kind of didn't work out and so they went and they asked for help and their social group this is not your social network but this is you being very public Taurus so something happened where you got back in the vibe and you're getting a second chance to accomplish one of your goals. See that? It's like a should. If you should do something, this is your second chance to do your should. So, Tauruses are getting a second chance to accomplish some of their goals. On the other hand, the spotlight is happening at home, which is all really good. And, oh no, what's going on with this thing? Taurus is getting a second chance. Okay. Next. Taurus is in a major relationship cycle. Major. They are attracting fun and love dating. And on the other hand, people like want to lock Taurus down. So Taurus is finally... So Taurus has turned the curve... Turn the curb, curb? Curve. You turn a curve, right? Taurus has turned the curve... Corner. <laughs> Taurus has turned the corner on relationships. And love is definitely looking for Taurus... Taurus might be getting pregnant, and uh, Taurus is definitely going to focus on their habits. All right, once again, let's check out what's going on. Dear Taurus, you'd love to get to the gym and sweat off some bad habits, but transportation woes keep you close to home. On the plus side, home is exactly where love is looking to bless your day. Open the windows and let love shine in. That's so sweet. All right, next. Oh, no. Oh no, I'm okay. Taurus, Gemini. Here we go. Let's put Gemini on the ascendant so everybody can see it. I hope everyone is having a super amazing day. I'm pretty chill. Let's drink some cough, see what's going on. 
Mm. Gold dust is moving. No way. That's cool. <laughs> One of our sunny siders is moving. Nice. Oh, yeah. Oh, a puppy? You really wanted a puppy? No way. <laughs> Good morning, Valerie. I hope you're having a super amazing day. All right, next. Dear Gemini, let's see what's going on for Geminis. I know Gemini's got this happening. Good things are happening at Gemini at home. Things at a distance are, you know, lighting things up. It's in and out, in and out. A second chance for things at a distance with Gemini Risings. They're going to... Another thing, Geminis are looking for their destiny uh, at a distance. Dear Gemini, responsibilities are added to an already busy day. Oh, Sonny, why would you say that? <laughs> Oh, because responsibilities are being added to an already busy day. All right, well, I didn't, okay. But quickly moving feet will place you in the right place at the right time. Oh, Gemini, let's check that out again. Responsibilities are added to an already busy day, but quickly moving feet will place you in the right place at the right time. You're going to be in the right place at the right time and definitely seize the day. And Gemini, you should be reaching for things at a distance. Legal woes continue to cast a sour haze, but good news arrives in the mail. Does it make sense, Gemini? I'll say it again. Good news arrives in the mail. Love is waiting at home. All right, everybody cool with that, Gemini? So, so once again, Gemini's, you're going to put your energy and your faith in something that's at a distance, which is, you know, okay, it's okay. Higher learning, maybe. Maybe Gemini's going to get a second chance to go back to school. Gemini's might start teaching something. But some kind of destiny and opportunity is happening at a distance. See, Mars is retrograde. It's going this way, and the nodes are going this way. Your destiny is returning. We were chasing our destiny for a while. Oh, man, this is sucked. This sucked. This sucked. Now destiny is coming backwards. Destiny is going forward to meet to meet Mars. It's gonna you're you're gonna people are gonna meet their destiny if they go looking for it. Yeah, Gemini's gotta watch out. They still have sex bumps. Gemini's gotta watch out because they still have legal problems. Gemini's have to watch out because people are trying to control their money. Gemini's have to watch out because they don't have the freedom that they really want. But at the same time you know this is the action gemini's also might be taking a vacation right now but be careful if you're taking a vacation double check everything having said all of that good things are happening at home for gemini's and the mail is where the money is do to do so check the mail or check your emails dear gemini responsibilities are added to an already busy day but quickly moving feet will place you in the right place at the right time legal woes continue to cast a sour haze but good news arrives in the mail love is waiting at home next cancer i hope all cancers are having a super amazing day slc my girl the most beautiful girl in the entire world she's a cancer uh-huh uh-huh she's one of the most if not the most romantic person that i know one of the most loving and caring people that i know uh-huh uh-huh can i get can i what do you think templeton what do you think you think like slc's like the shazam she's pretty cool sonny thanks player okay <laughs> all right next i mean dear cancer oh crap i didn't write the cancer horoscope oh my god That's going to leave a mark on the newspaper. Oh, my God. It's Friday afternoon. Are they awake yet? Oh, man. Okay. Oh, geez. How could I not write cancer? Oh, shucks. Okay, cancer. That sucks. <laughs> I'm going to have to write... Get off the phone. I'm going to have to write the horse cancer horoscope and send it to the newspaper. Oh. Oh, I'm going to get a... What WTF for that one? <laughs> okay, here we go. I know what the hell, Rebecca. I better better make one for you guys. I can't believe I didn't. I didn't. 
I didn't write the cancer. I gotta. Okay, back to work. Back to work. Everybody be cool. ABC. All, everybody be cool. <laughs> okay. Dear cancer. Oh no, the crabs. Oh, not again. Snap, snap the crabs. Oh my god. So I'm going to make. Oh, uh, I just. I made. Oh, oh man. So how could I donkey that one up? Okay. Let's. Alright. Is everybody. Is everybody. Is everybody cool if we just skip cancer for today? And like. We'll come back and we'll do them like next week. And the. <laughs> oh my god! Okay! <laughs> like, oh, like, well, the, it's okay. You guys you guys don't go out anyways, right? You guys just stay home for the week. Don't worry about it. What's it that? Jesse right? <laughs> like, yeah, it does. It's, it's, it's just. <laughs> oh no. Did you. Oh, I'm getting a thumbs down from the sunny siders. Oh, look at Gaze. It's okay. It's okay, Sunny. We're just gonna go over here. Just okay. We're just gonna. We're just gonna. We're just gonna. Okay, here we go. Let's do cancer. Let's. How could I not write cancer? All right. Oh, Roxanne feels lucky today. Okay. Cancers are gonna have. Okay, let's see what's going on for cancer. So, cancer is first up they have they have this thing is returning for cancer right here and this is in their joint finances and taking relationships to the next level so for cancers you know relationships may be a bit of a problem it's touch and go at times you know once again just because these planets are here these are slow moving planets and this energy has to be activated and so don't worry about it so much what's uh you know, down the road, like in a, you know, a couple of years, when the, we have the big Saturn square Uranus thing, that's going to happen over here in Cancer's joint finances. So that's when you got to watch out, or maybe big problems in, you know, but that's in like 2019, 2020. So I wouldn't worry about it. For right now, Cancers have a second chance in joint finances. Something in money, something in relationships taken to the next level you're going to get a second opportunity. So keep your eyes with that. And it's not necessarily uh, partners coming back. It's not exes coming back. That's not the vibe for cancer. It's more of a financial thing. So cancers are going through a situation where money is the deal, right? The nodes are right here. So something about cancers, money that they make for other people, something about how cancer is taking things to the next level, maybe a legal battle is returning for cancer, Things move forward in a legal battle for cancer, for better, or, for better or worse. So keep that in mind. Once again, things you're waiting for are going to start to to budge. You know, the gates are opening up, and it's time to get back to getting on. This is one of the signs that the slingshot is going to start to happen. And one of the signs was Jupiter going direct, and that happened. And another sign is this Mars approaching the nodes. So for cancer. This kind of uh, rebirth or renaissance or slingshot or things that get going on is going to happen in their astral sector of uh, legal battles and joint finances. In addition to all of that, cancer is still in the spotlight. So cancer, oh, I know, the, the cancers are going to snip me a new asshole. <laughs> I know, I, told, I totally messed it up. I even when he has to, I have to, I got to, I got to send a special cancer horoscope to the newspaper. I can't believe it. And then, anyways, cancer, you're still in the spotlight. People are still checking you out, but you're thinking about your money. You're in a financial thing right now. So second chances financially and good things are happening in communication and transportation. So cancer, by all means, now's the time for you to speak up. Time for cancers to speak up and cancers for new business. All right, Leo's up next. And I apologize. Sonny, you always skip cancer. How come you always skip cancer? You like I thought SLC's a cancer. How can you keep messing this up? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I just do. Oh man. All right, dear Leo, man. Okay, dear Leo. <sighs> I'm gonna hear that one. Oh, I can't believe my phone's not ringing right now. <laughs> dear Leo, 
Everywhere you go, money follows your every move. Keep your wallet open and receive your financial rewards. Peeps are talking. Oh, that's nice and tight. Okay. <laughs> Dear Leo, everywhere you go. Oh, Leos are in a financial cycle straight up right here. Money is coming towards Leo. They can expect checks everywhere. Now, it's not a situation where unexpected money is going to arrive. There's nothing sudden or, unex or unusual that's going to happen in money. But you might get a raise at work. You might win some money in the lottery. Cancer is the lucky. Just a reminder, cancer is the lucky sign right now. I know it doesn't seem like it, but cancer is the lucky financial sign, uh, lucky and gambling sign right now. Cancer and Scorpios are lucky and gambling. Anyways, cruising along, just cruising along, <laughs> just because of like, Scorpio, the um, Leo Moon Casino Time. Oh yeah, Lady Die. Seriously, oh Leo Moon, you're lucky gambling to start with. All right, okay. Next, here we go. So Leos, you know, you're in a money cycle. Your people are talking about you. They're gossiping about you. But everything is pretty good. You might be thinking about getting a new car, a new cell phone, new computer. But they're definitely people still looking at your skeletons in your closet. And they're going to be looking at your skeletons for another couple of days. On top of all of that, something's going to happen in relationships. Second chances in relationships are people going to come back and you might fight it out again. Or you might jump at the opportunity this time. In addition to that, seriously, watch your health. Watch your health, Leo. Watch your health. Watch your health. And I'm going to be saying that for the next year. So keep keep doing it. And that's the action. So once again, dear Leo, everywhere you go, money follows your every move. Keep your wallet open and receive your financial rewards. Peeps are talking. Ver. Go. Do, 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 do. How, Sonny, could you possibly forget Cancer Horse? I don't know, man. <laughs> I just... I don't know. I I'm I'm pretty busy when I write these. I kind of okay. What well, enough excuses? So she lost a hundred bucks at the Hard Rock. Is that a, the Hard Rock's not a casino though? <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> no, but that's how it works. That's how it works, Sonia. You gave. A Leo money. Yeah, you gave a Leo money. Well, <laughs> that's how it works. <laughs> a Leo, <laughs> a Leo was given money. <laughs> that's that's what's happening with Leos. People are giving you money, and so that's what's going on. All right, Virgos. I didn't say Leos are lucky in money. Leos are always lucky in money, but like Cancer and scorpios are lucky in money yeah I, that's what i said leos leos are in a financial attraction cycle they attracted money from you just saying <laughs> just say i didn't say leo was gonna in an investment cycle <laughs> they're gonna invest the money i said they're gonna you're gonna leos are gonna attract money all right dear virgo that's why okay dear virgo that's why you know, if Lady die with her Virgo Leo Moon, things she's casino might be a good idea. Dear Virgo, pleasant smiles from across the room signal a good hair day, but deep down you know it's time to trim those bangs. Oh, that's good writing. I didn't write the whole thing, but like that's good writing. <laughs> Midge is like she'll take the money. <laughs> okay. Dear Virgo. Pleasant smiles from across the room signal a good hair day. Thanks, Sonny. <laughs> but deep down, you know it's time to trim those bangs. Don't get neurotic about it, Virgo. I just said trim the bangs. Oh, no, Sonny said I got to trim the bangs. I'm not going out. Like, like, somebody pass me my bag. I'm going outside. <laughs> okay. Behind the scenes gossip begin to knock the knees. That means it's going to make you nervous. But clean karma ultimately prevails. Have a quick look at the books. Oh yeah, quick look at the books. Don't give Virgo, don't give Leo any money. You're going to anyways. Let's, we should all give Leo some money, and so um, we should all just give Leo stuff. But Virgo, you're in a tr in an attraction cycle. Virgos are looking good. Virgos are getting haircuts. Virgos are doing the nails. Virgos are going to get their makeup done. Virgos are you know getting liposuction. 
or like or collagen injections or like what's that stuff that kills all the nerves in your face that's like what's that stuff that kills all the nerves in your face it's like like Botox yeah Virgos are getting Botox they're looking good everything is cool but you know Botox has this you guys like what you guys are? okay so Virgos are looking good but 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 Virgos have to watch their health seriously watch your health something is gonna happen with habits uh, and your plan that's really gonna make Virgos feel really good this situation right here with Virgo with some like I said some aspects with some signs are good some like could be better for Virgos this is a good thing for like Pisces I don't know if it's such a good thing for Capricorns maybe maybe not but for Virgos, it's okay. Because Virgos watch their health. <laughs> so Virgos don't really have to watch out for it. Yeah. Pierre Marshall is saying face yoga for this Virgo rising. That's exactly what you got to do. Face yoga. Son, are you staring at me? No, I'm just holding. I'm doing face yoga. I'm holding a pose. Sonny, you're getting, you're looking creepy. I'm not, it's face yoga. I'm not staring. I'm holding a pose. Okay. Uh huh. Okay. Did you guys believe I have opposable thumbs? <laughs> not so much, Sonny. <laughs> okay, Virgo. So that's the action, Virgo. Watch your health, work on your plans, work on your habits, get your goals in gear. That's what's happening. You have a, an opportunity to an extended opportunity to this summer to get your your goals uh, your goals in action and your health in check. So you know, go do it. Just keep in mind that it's going to be very busy for you. <laughs> Pierre is looking to do that. I think. <laughs> okay. All right. Hey Denise, what's? I hope you're having a super amazing day. Okay. Anyways, Virgo's in the uh, attraction spot. Virgo's looking good. Soon Virgos are going to be in a money cycle. Right now you're just thinking about it, so don't worry about it. And uh, Virgos, Virgos might be buying new computers. Probably not. Um, and finally, Virgos should be hanging out with their friends. Next, do, 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 do. Libra. Any Libras in the house? 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 Sonny, I can't believe you forgot to do cancer. SLC's a cancer. If I were you, I would snip you a new asshole. But, like, you have that one coming to you. It's all about balance, Sonny. Balance? Oh, oh, that's a pretty, those are pretty shoes. Those are pretty shoes. Okay. Well, if you're a Libra, <laughs> it's like, anyways, I'm not sure, I'm not sure what Lady Holmes was talking about, but like, if you're a Libra, you probably know what she's talking about. It's all about sign, you gotta get it together. I can't believe you didn't write SLC's horoscopes. Frig, man, I can't believe I didn't do it either. Okay, you chill out, you, you chill out. <laughs> Let's get back to it. Do, 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 do. Dear Libra, decisions have been made. Uh, why would you say that to a Libra, Sonny? Oh, I didn't mean it. I didn't mean to say that decisions have been made. I mean, there's still time to change your mind. Oh, that's better. Okay. <laughs> Dear Libra, decisions have been made. Vows have been exchanged. Oh, they're going to like that. And the next step has already been taken. Woo. <laughs> so, What's holding you back from your happily forever after? That's a good question. Life hold life love helps out from behind the scenes. Everybody cool? All the Libras cool with that? <laughs> so Libras have picked up a secret admirer. So for Libra, Libra should like take their action to the next level. All Libras should take their their love game to the next level because you guys are Libra. You guys are only as single as you ever want to be. This right here, Mars is giving you a, a, a chance to, uh, to, 
See, Mars is retrograde. You don't really have to do it right now. I, you know, I was talking to SLC about this the other night. For those who don't know, SLC is my girl, and she handles all of the the business here on the channel. And so when we do things like the Wheel of Tarot, the really cool stuff, all the, you know, the sunny side power necklaces that we send out for love and attraction, and all them, the fun stuff we do with my Patreon supporters, and you know, all of the cool stuff here on the channel you know it has to go through her first and so we were talking about this you know it's gonna come like this but you don't have to jump at this opportunity so for everybody I know you're gonna feel like you should do it but you don't have to do it yet Mars is gonna stop it's and then it's gonna go direct and when it goes direct then you're really gonna do it the doors are opening up right now it doesn't mean you have to really do it you know, you just got to like do your thing. Oh, Nadia, no, 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 no. We're doing Libra right now. And so in relationships for Libra or dating anyways, it's it's just it's time to think about it. It's time to have some fun. It's time to say yes to a lot of people. And But you don't really lock anything down right now. If I was Libra, I wouldn't make any. I know I keep saying make your decisions. That's because I like relations double Scorpio I'm into long relationships <laughs> and so, but for Libra just like check it out just have some fun lay some game down be cool with everybody you don't have to lock anybody down you don't have to lock anything down you don't have to let yourself be controlled or anything in fact just spend some time this week focusing on yourself and you know know that you've attracted a lover from a behind the scenes lover is happening and a lover from your past is going to return. So what? You know, what's wrong with going out for lunch? You know, you don't have to Netflix and chill with everybody. You can just like have a coffee and what's up. That's cool too. Unless you don't like coffee, then you could have like some green tea. That works as well. All right. Next. So that's what's going on with Libra. Dear Libra, decisions have been made. Vows have been exchanged. And the next step has already been taken. So what's holding you back from your happily forever after? Love helps out from behind the veil. Behind the scene lovers are returning, Libra. Do 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 Scorpio! Oh, you wrote Scorpio hors horoscope, Sonny. You wrote your own horoscopes. Maybe you wrote it twice. <laughs> who's, who's, who's hating in you? Who, who exactly in this room is doing all the hating on Scorpios? <laughs> Just, all right. Next. Dear Scorpio, Scorpio, it's time to take some chances. All right. The planets are encouraging second chances, but they're also indicating mistakes and poor choices. All right. All right, Jessica, have a super amazing day. And then, oh, thanks, Rebecca. Okay, here we go. Do, 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 do. Dear Scorpio, it's time to take some chances. See, Jupiter's in Scorpio. Scorpio is going to be nostalgic and introverted right now, but that's not so weird because Scorpios are a nostalgic and introverted sign. <laughs> but okay, dear Scorpio, it's time to take some chances. The planets are encouraging second chances, but they're also indicating mistakes and poor choices. At the end of the day, it's still your life. Sometimes. We make all the right choices, but still have to do it again. And that's way too long. That's like one, two, three. That's like four sentences. One. There's too many sentences. Oh, I'm going to get a phone call, man. It's 12 o'clock. I'm going to get a phone call at like 1.30. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so here we go. So that's what's going on. Lady Di said she's been making poor choices for, for so long she's calling it a tradition oh my god I don't even I make so many like <laughs> KZ is saying she's being nostalgic and introverted yeah seriously anyways by the end of the week Scorpios are really going to step into the spotlight so I'm not I wouldn't worry about it too much they're they're like they're not like lucky in love or anything but they're going to call their own number later on in the week Scorpios are going to do something for other people. I'll give you an example. I'm a double Scorpio and the moon is going to be behind the scenes. It's Big Grand Lodge week in Toronto. Normally, there's something I really want to do for myself next week, 
but I'm not going to do it. I'm going to push it off for a week. And I'm going to go to Grand Lodge, and I'm going to go throw my support behind uh, one of my old lodge buddies who's running for office. And, you know, I initiated him when I was, a, uh, you know, an officer, and I'm going to, uh, hopefully he wins. I'm going to go and help out, help out my, you know, my lodge buddy. Anyways, good morning, Amanda. I hope you're having a super amazing day. So what else is going on? So that's what's going on. Scorpios are nostalgic. They're you know hanging out. Good things are happening socially. So Scorpios go so be social. The spotlights on things at a distance. The spotlights on Cancer Scorpio. So like if you screw something up with a Cancer, everybody's gonna notice. Okay, stop bug. Okay, I did it. Okay, I made the mistake. Blah. Boy, I'm gonna never stop bugging myself about that. And then in the third house, transportation problems. Continuing transportations. And finally, something good is going to happen at home and grounding. Next. Sagittarius is up. Do, 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 do. Scorpio, don't worry about mistakes. You, you should, you're in a lucky cycle. It doesn't happen. The stuff that's happening right now for Scorpio, you're only this lucky once every 12 years. So now's the time, Scorp, to really, you know, get out. And if you haven't, this is the time for you to really do it. Dear Sagittarius. Oh, look at this. Okay. Excuse me. Dear Sagittarius. Watch your words. Personal agendas. Personal agendas. Hey, man, does it? Did you did you leave that notebook there? Yeah, it's my my personal agenda. Oh, thanks. But okay, dear Sagittarius, watch your words. Personal agendas paint you in a much more negative light than you would have ever imagined. Avoid the temptation to steal the spotlight. Wow, man, can you believe this? I wrote this days ago. Like I wrote this at the beginning of the week, but this has all happened. Well, to Sagittarius, I know. Dear Sagittarius, watch your words. Personal agendas paint you in a much more negative light than you would have ever imagined. Avoid the temptation to steal the spotlight. Wow! Can you imagine? I'm pretty good at this. <laughs> it's your job, Sonny. I hope you're pretty good at it. Yeah. What do you think, Tempe? You think I'm pretty good at this? I think so, too. Anyways, next. So here you go. Sag, watch your words. They're getting you into trouble. Venus is attracting when you go out. Okay, so let's do this. Let's let's slow this action down. When you go outside pe into the world, like say you're downtown hanging out at lunch, people are going to walk up and say, Yo, play what's up? I hope you're having a super amazing day. And you're going to be like, yeah, everything is pretty cool. And so they're going to say, hey, also good things are going to be like, hey, you want this parking spot? And you're going to be like, no, I've already got one. Thank you. And so like, that's a good thing that's going to happen. And so, oh, thanks, Karen. I appreciate that. And so, and I'm just, I'm just knocked out because that's exactly what happened. But I wrote this. Okay, it happened yesterday, but I wrote the horoscopes on Wednesday, remember? <laughs> and so, anyways. Okay, so that's what's going on with Sagittarius. Avoid the temptation to steal the spotlight with your personal agenda. All right, watch your words. You're going to get a second chance to step up. I hope all Saggies are okay right now. And <clears throat> money problems continue. This is going to eventually clear up. I hope. Because <laughs> I hope. Because it's like, <laughs> it's killing Scorpio's transportation. And I'm dying for something to help along the lines. Anyways, I'm just going to remind everybody about this thing right here. You know, second chances. So if you're gonna a Saggy who's gonna buy a looking to buy a car or like you know, it like let's just say you're looking to buy a car or a computer or a cell phone, or like maybe you wanna buy a donkey to pull a cart, right? Something here in transportation. I'll say it, if you wanna buy if you buy a donkey to pull a cart, that's your third house. If you're gonna buy uh, a like a donkey to ride, it's your third house. If you're gonna buy a donkey like as a pet then that's your sixth house. If you're gonna buy a donkey for milk and and sell the milk, that's like the second house. That I don't think you drink donkey milk, but like that's do you make cheese out of donkey milk? We stick with, rain, with unicorns, right? You should 
drink uni unicorn milk is probably better for you guys. Anyways, just saying. Watch. That's how it works out. If you're going to have sex with the donkey, that's in the eighth house. Oh, brutal. Okay. So, anyways. But then again, that's where the spotlight is for Sag. All I'm saying is, Sag, you're going to get a second chance here in transportation. You don't have to run out and buy that car. Wait. You don't have to wait. Uh, Sag is like the most impatient sign. You don't have to wait, but at the same time, you don't have to jump at the opportunity either. So keep that in mind. For all the other stuff, you know, words getting you into trouble, blah, 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 blah. That's day-to-day -day life for a Sagittarius. You know, so like, you know, take it with a grain of salt. But uh, money rules or money is going to eventually chill out and this, a really good deal is eventually going to happen. So don't, I wouldn't, if I was a Saggy, run out, have fun, look around, shop, 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 make, you know, make friends, take your Libra around shopping for the next month. But I really wouldn't jump into anything until Mercury goes direct at the end of, you know, halfway through next month. Next, Capricorn, you wrote, you wrote Capricorns. You wrote Capricorn's horoscope, Sonny. Well, you can you write Cap. You were like, what, you're like, what's your problem, man? What's your problem? Any Capricorns in the house? Any Capricorns in the house? <laughs> Any Capricorns in the house? Any Capricorns? Woo! Woo! <laughs> All right. Let's, let's do it. Let's do it. <clears throat> Denise is a Capricorn. Here we go. Do, 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 do. Legal escapades hold your attention. Oh no, don't make me do my, don't make me do face yoga. Hold it, Sonny, hold it. Uh, uh, uh. Oh no, my muscles are starting to twitch. I can't hold this pose much longer. Uh, 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 uh. Face yoga is tough. Uh, I'm just holding the pose. Ah, 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 ah. Oh, ooh, that was tough. Face yoga is tough. All right. Oh, where do horoscopes go? Dear Capricorn, legal escapades hold your attention. All right? Legal situations right here. Mercury's here. You're going to be talking about legal stuff. But don't get involved unless you know you're going to win. Oh, got that, Capricorn? Don't. Okay. Legal. Oh, let me just read it. Legal escapades hold your attention, but don't get involved unless you know you're going to win. An injury-prone week has the cuts adding up. Watch your toes. Injury-prone week. Well, we know all that. We know it's an injury-prone week. Capricorns are getting sick. They got to watch about. Capricorns got to watch getting sick for the entire year. They're accident-prone this entire year. They're injury-prone this entire year. Capricorns are disappearing and coming back disappear you know they're like hiding away they're like capricorns are like working really hard capricorns are super stressed out people are like people are bugging the ass out of Capric capricorns left right and center they're getting picked on in a major way and it sucks but they can control it because capricorns got tight capricorns have extremely extremely tight game Ribbit! Someone say tight game! Ribbit! How tight is your game, playa? No bubbles! Blip! No bubbles! That's tight. Ribbit! I make diamonds! Ribbit! What? What do you make? Next! Back to work! Back to work! <laughs> so Capricorn's gotta watch that action. They're gonna get a second chance at a financial opportunity. So keep that in mind, Capricorn. But once again, you don't have to jump at it. I encourage everyone that like just because you see it and it's there doesn't mean you should jump at it but you can definitely make it work figure it out focus on what's important this week and you know fo and and work your game from there once again focus on what's important and work your game from there for capricorns you're going to get want to get out into the public spotlight and be seen and hang out with the peeps and go be a player and that's the action that's the action don't engage in legal battles if you don't have to. Money's going to be okay. Eventually, money's going to be okay. You might have some surprise bills, but you're going to be okay. And in the, the process, get out and have some fun. Next, 
Aqua areas. Oh, what the hell? Aqua areas. Aqua areas. Do 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 do. Mm, 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 mm. I hope everyone is having a super amazing day. It's, remember, guys. Oh, and if you haven't done so yet, please subscribe to the channel. You know, for those who haven't subscribed, you know, please subscribe to the channel. And uh, please give the video a thumbs up. And uh, if you want a personal reading, just check it out in the description box below. Just a reminder, I am a professional astrologer. I am reading the horoscopes that I wrote for the newspaper. Except, of course, that I forgot to do cancer this week, which is going to... I'm going to feel that. <laughs> and so, but that's what's going on. And then I hope... And remember, it's always a beautiful day to be beautiful. And for just another reminder... I do shoot these horoscopes live on the channel, so if you want to take, you know, take part in it, just drop by and say, what's up? Also, we have a workshop coming up. And uh, for the, hey, just a reminder for everybody, this Sunday is our, spe our special once a month. I get together with my Patreon supporters, and we do a special Sunday with Sunny. And on Sunday with Sunny, it's going to be at noon for everybody who's watching, you know, like KZ is here and for Audrey and everyone. And the uh, Sunday with Sunny this weekend and you'll get an you should get an email shortly and it's going to be at noon eastern and 9 a.m on the left coast and you know we're going to do your mini your mini astrology and i got to send you your transits for the month and uh, your forecast all right let's get back down to it dear aqua areas drama continues to drag on with little definitive resolution in sight what are you writing a book sonny yeah three lines at a time Dear Aqua Areas, drama continues to drag on with little definitive resolution in sight, but a small legal victory is a welcome reason to smile. Prying eyes ask you What the hell? I gotta clean this up. <laughs> Prying eyes ask who's taking you to the ball? Once again, Dear Aquarius, drama continues to drag on with little definitive resolution in sight, but a small legal victory is a welcome resolution is a welcome reason to smile. Prying eyes ask, who's taking you to the ball? Oh yeah, seriously. Pry this is people are gossiping about your relationships. Aquarius, let's do it again. Second chance in some kind of nonsense you're going through. The gates are moving. This kind of thing that happened, Aquarius, something happened between you and someone else. It's been dragging and it's dragging and it sucks and it's dragging and it sucks and it's dragging. And not like the good type of dragon that's like, <sighs> that like blurrows flying and stuff, but the bad kind of dragon, which is like, oh, dragon mass. And so something's been dragging on and dragging on and it's like, what the hell? But it's going to shift gears this week. So be prepared. Be prepared. You know, so if it's going to be a fight, as a fight is coming, this is the week. This is the week, everyone, where if a fight was on the horizon, well, we have now, we have all now collectively reached the horizon. And so that's the action. You know, there was, you remember, Jupiter is in effect right now. Jupiter's back in the game. So things are going to get big. Things are going to get blown out of proportion. But it doesn't matter because it's it's time you know the slingshot is happening right now and so wherever it is in your chart for everybody this is game on time you know get ready it's time to get game on oh I hear that Aqu uh, Rebecca I totally hear that so yeah. Aquarians are going through a situation. They're doing a thing, you know. Something about Aquarians are under the spotlight right now, and uh, yeah, Natasha's right. Slingshot summer. It's been drag, 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 but that's what's going on. Betty says I have a feeling I might be pregnant. So if I'm suspect, she will make me better. <laughs> Maybe a what? Five-year plans. I hear you. I hear you. Oh, okay, Jonah, for an Aquarian moon, oh, Aquarian moons have a tough, <laughs> like Aquarian suns have, and risings have one thing, you know, for Aquarian suns, this is who you are, something, I'll just do the different sun, moon, 
rising i'll just split up this transit right now for everyone we have a couple of minutes that's and then you know and thank you pisces for your patience and here we go for sun for aquarian sun it's the spotlight so everyone is going to see what you're going to do this is what you're doing this is how you uh present yourself this is the game you're going to go back they're going to think uh you're going to identify with this kind of thing so if you're an aquarius it's going to be all this second chances all this beginnings all this stuff this is you this is what you're doing you're like okay i'm doing this all right the fun the fight is at my front door this is what's going on this is you know i'm argumentative i'm the one throwing stones i'm the one doing this i'm the one this is my game right now uh, and it's also happening in this situation this is like yeah i'm attracting money in joint relationships i'm attracting sexual partners yeah people are talking about me all right and yeah i gotta watch you know my habits next if you're an aquarius rising then this is about how you look so for those who don't know for those who don't know i have some workshops coming up you know i do so i don't just teach regular people i teach the professionals as well so if you're a professional tarot reader by all means drop into my tarot workshop if you're you know anyways it's for everybody you know i i do it in pretty simple english anyways if you're an aquarius rising it's how you look and how you present yourself you're going to go back and change your haircut you're going to change your makeup you're going to get plastic nails you're going to do something about your appearance you're going to get a new dress new shoes and that's really kind of here in dress and shoes but like something about how you identify with the outside world is going to change you're going to get a second chance to change your identity all right nadia have a super amazing weekend good luck and have a lot of fun you know nadia just get out and have some fun for all libras just get out and have some fun we're doing aquarius but nadia's a libra and so just go have some fun you know libra go have some fun okay and so so that's what's going on with aquarius rising if you have an aquarius moon the moon is what you want to do and so with the moon here this whole thing is crossing your moon so this is what you want to do you want to go have you know you want to get some horizontal action going on this weekend you want to be like loosey-goosey free and you know you want to you want to go to you know if i if you have an aquarius moon you want to go to some kind of you know mud and like glitter paint you know vertical option techno party do 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 a big weekend gathering this you know that's the action that uh aquarius they want to get very sexual aquarius moons want to get very sexual this weekend but at the same time aquarius moons very much want to partner up this weekend with people but on the negative side aquarius moons are getting stabbed in the heart bummer right bummer Aquarius moons watch your hearts and that's the difference between the sun the moon and the rising as far as your horoscope is concerned for the weekend for the week next Pisces dearest Pisces do 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 oh McDonald oh McDonald all right here we go dearest Pisces you continue to be love partner you continue to be love partner number 1 but murky waters make it difficult to focus on your togetherness game if the noise becomes too much then take your partner out for a long romantic walk it's clear your mind oh it'll it'll clear your mind and reignite the uh, fading passions once again dearest pisces you continue to be love partner number 1 but murky waters make it difficult to focus on your togetherness game. If the noise becomes too much, then take your partner out for a long romantic walk. It'll clear your mind and reignite fading passions. So, what the hell am I talking about? Oh, you oh, yeah, Pisces, love partner number 1. Look at this. Boom, love partner number 1. <laughs> and it's good things are happening from a distance. You're lucky at a distance, Pisces. So like, you know, aim for the stars and you're probably going to reach them. But the spotlight is on relationships, the spotlight's on dating, the spotlight's on children. Pisces might suddenly be telling everyone they're pregnant. That's someone to watch out for. And that's the action. 
Pisces are working on their habits. That's a great thing. But let's forget everything I said in the horoscope and let's just watch this for a second. Stuff from the past is happening to funk out Pisces. Pisces, uh, Pisces can easily fight if they want to. They can easily do things behind the scenes. Pisces might be going on behind the scenes and you know people might be stabbing Pisces in the back. Pisces might go out of their way to stab someone in the back. Remember the key words right now are should and second chance. So you might get a second chance to fall in love. You're probably going to get a second chance to stab someone in the back. Just be cool, Pisces. Don't stress it out. You already have problems. And uh, this is YouTube, Twitter, Instagram. So don't cause no problem. It ain't going to be no problem. I wouldn't worry about it. This week, so far, it's not Pisces causing any problems. It's Scorpio's causing the problem because, like, Jupiter's making Scorpios big, and if Scorpios are grouchy, they're going to be grouchy big, and that's what's going on. So once again, Pisces, uh, look at all this. This All this good stuff is fanning out for Pisces here. Relationships, watch your health, watch your habits. Everybody's checking out your habits. Hey, did you go to the gym? Hey, Pisces, you go to the gym? Yeah, I went to the gym. Stop bugging me. Hey, Pisces, did you get that um, scented candle? Yeah, I got that scented candle. Hey Pisces, did you go do this? Yeah, I did that. Everybody, you know. Hey Pisces, how you how you how's your like you stop smoking happening? I stopped smoking, you know. And so that's all the stuff that's going on with Pisces. Yeah, Denise, Scorpios are causing problems. I caused problems. <laughs> I caused a lot of problems this week. The what do you mean? This is this is social media stuff. <laughs> if you don't have social media stuff, the eleventh house is your it's your social network. So it's things like uh, it's things like um, uh, like if you join the Lions Club or the Kiwanis Club. I'm a you know I'm a Freemason, so that's over here. And it's also the rewards from the tenth house. So all the stuff that happens here publicly, this is the rewards from it. So if you shine publicly then you know you might get a, a boost in your career. If you shine publicly, then social groups are going to come and try and recruit you. If you don't shine publicly, then nobody's going to come and talk to you. And that's how it is. If you do really well at work, you're going to get a reward. If you do really well at a sporting event publicly, then you're going to get a trophy, and that's in here. So this is good stuff happening from here. So that's what you got to watch out for. Pisces are getting job opportunities right now. Pisces are getting job opportunities. Pisces things from the past are returning. You know, this is the past. It's returning for Pisces, for better or worse. It's going to affect their days. And the only thing is, Pisces, like, dreams aren't really coming true. Because Saturn's retrograde here and Pluto's retrograde. So although things are returning, it's not like your dream job is not returning. And that's what's going on. They're getting rewarded. They're getting rewarded for stuff from the past as far as their career is concerned but it's not the dream it's not you know s some kind of spiritual thing it's saturn it's hard work hard work is returning uh and but your hard work is your reward for your career and that's kind of what it's supposed to be it's saturn saturn is the karma planet oh yeah oh i'm a double scorpio i've got that problem straight up all right guys and that's the action. That means, okay, so that's the deal, Pisces. Anyways, your love partner, number one. So get out and have some fun. And that leaves us with this week's lucky and love signs are do 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 Libra and Aries was Virgo and Pisces heating up fast. Libra and Aries with Virgo and Pisces heating up fast. As for everyone else, be a super amazing, fantastic wing. Share the videos. Woo! Pick up the check, yo. Once again, I'm a professional astrologer, and if you want me to look at your chart, tell you what's going on, simply check it out in the description box below. And by all means, please subscribe to the channel. And um, if you drop by, please say what's up. From the sunny side.net, I'm Sunny, wishing everyone the absolute best of a super beautiful week. Remember, it's always a beautiful day to be beautiful, but it's together that makes it a beautiful day. And. Uh, I just wish everyone the best of a beautiful week, and I'll see you soon.